Tragedy of the Commons is about when everyone can share a resource and individuals end up looking out for their own self-interests and not caring about the others. Here, everybody has an incentive in consuming whatever resource it is we have here and there is no way of stopping others from consuming it in any way. In that case, everybody is likely to consume as much as possible. That is, they will look after their own needs and not for the others. That is the tragedy. So, the thing is, I am not going to talk about any real life examples here. There are plenty of them and talking about them makes me just sad. So instead a made up scenario in front of you. Now imagine there are five families living in a building and there is a water problem going on. They can have 250 liters of water every week. If all five families use 50 liters for the week, they can survive. It is enough for each family. The 250 liters is enough for the entire building for the week. There is no more than that and the water supply is gone for the week. It will be back after 7 days let's say. It will not be easy for everyone. But let's say that they can make it with 50 liters throughout the entire week. And all of the families know that. But imagine being one of these families. What if you could just take 5 liters more? It wouldn't hurt others that much, would it? Maybe 10 liters. The others would still have most of the water. So what if you're taking a little more than them? On the other hand, let's say that you know that 50 liters will work for you and your family. But you don't know if the other 4 families are going to do the same. Are they going to keep their consumption under that line? What if the others use more than necessary? So, you probably should use more than 50 liters as well, shouldn't you? After all, why should you suffer for other people's greed? You should have what you need, shouldn't you? If every family starts consuming that way, the water will run out in four or five days and the last two days of the week will be nothing less than suffering and i hope you understand why i did not talk about any real life examples here this problem can be solved if the resource consumption is regulated by any authority figures and limiting the use of the resource in different ways can also help Anyway, I hope that was enough for you to understand the tragedy of the commons. If you have any questions, you can comment below. I might answer it below or I might make a separate community post to answer your question. You can like, share, subscribe and all that other stuff. You can also support me directly on Patreon. Now for the small bonus section, Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1911. The winner was... Alvar Goldstrand. I'm sorry if the pronunciation is not correct. His work was helpful for our understanding of how our eyes perceive images in front of us. Alright, this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching, I really hope you have learned something new today. And don't forget to take care of yourself. Goodbye for now.